Hi, this is Grant Polachek with MicroShare INTL. This is strategy number two of the seven strategies that your competition doesn't want you to know. If you haven't seen strategy number one yet, stop this now and make sure you watch it. But if you have, strategy number two is know your keywords and know your competition's keywords. There are two kinds of keywords. There's short tail and long tail. So, I went fishing with my father and it was a beautiful day. And we're out on the boat, but we didn't catch anything. It was really disappointing. We caught absolutely zero fish. When we went home, my mom asked us, did you catch anything? And we had to tell her the disappointing story that we caught nothing. So we like fishing. The next time I decided I was going to go onto Google and I was going to search for the best fishing bait. So we went back out and this time I was casting and I was reeling them in and I was casting and I was reeling them in but my dad on the other hand still caught zero fish. So we went back and I had a great story of a day of awesome fishing and my dad had to tell that he didn't have anything. And the reason that that was is because I had a strategy but he didn't. And that's the same is when you're looking for your keywords. You want to make sure that you're choosing the best keywords. Why did I catch so much fish? Because I was using the bait that the fish that I was looking for wanted. And that's the same as what you need to do. You need to find the keywords that people are searching for so that you're catching the right customers. And then a third time we went fishing, and this time we went a little farther away, we went up to Canada, and this was with my dad and his friends. And his friends go fishing for a different reason. They don't just like to catch fish, they like to eat the fish. So they go for a specific kind of freshwater fish. So when I told them about my secret of catching fish and the bait that I really love to use, they absolutely didn't care because that bait they knew wasn't going to catch the fish that they wanted. And this is the same as when you're looking for your keywords. You have to make sure that not only are you getting a lot of people and a lot of hits, a lot of fish, but the right ones, the ones that you want, the ones that are convert and the ones that are going to buy. So here's how it works. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a keyword list. And here's the steps. You're going to Go onto a search engine like Google and you're going to search for your main keyword and you're going to find the people who are showing up one, two, and three on the search results. You're going to use a tool called SEO Quake to figure out exactly what keywords they're using and you're going to take those and you're going to put them on your list. And the next step is to use your own experience and think, are there any keywords that you feel that they're missing? And then you're going to have a complete list of the keywords that you think that your, that your customers are searching. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use Google Keyword Tool. You can search that. It's actually called Google AdWords, but search Google Keyword Tool to analyze these keywords. So you have a list and you're going to analyze it. And what you're looking for is how many people are searching and the second thing you're looking for is the amount of competition. So if you have a keyword that a ton of people are searching for, that's like catching a lot of fish. But if there's not a lot of competition, that probably means that people aren't buying on that keyword so it's not an important keyword for you. So that's how you're going to do your keyword research. You're going to find your competition and you're going to know your, your customers and you're going to know your competition's keywords. Thanks for joining me for strategy session number two and I look forward to seeing you in strategy session number three. Thank you. Have a great day.